guys so i'm going to be making leg warmers today um these are some leg warmers that i've already made i kind of messed up on this one as you can see right here where it kind of gets weird i don't know what happened but this one's fine and we're gonna be making them instead of strawberry leg warmers like these ones are we're going to be using white yarn and making a more minimalistic type like warmer basically so you're gonna want to start off at the end of your yarn and then make a slip knot if you don't know how to make a slip knot you can watch this go like this tie so like put that pinch pinch this side and done once you're done with your slip knot you're gonna wanna kind of move the small one off to the side a little. We don't need it. And then what you're gonna do is take this big thing, go over, and then pull the bottom one up, and then do it again. And then you're gonna wanna keep on chaining until the line, like the row of chains that you have, can loosely fit around your ankle. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's not too tight make sure that the measurements are okay um i'm gonna start chaining i'm gonna tell you how many i got and then honestly it's up to you on your own preference and it does affect the whole project so anyway so i'm gonna do that real quick all right so i've made 36 um chains and now you can measure your chain to around your ankle so just make sure that this area right here fits into your ankle so now we're going to move on to starting your next few rows of your first section make sure that the chain isn't twisted you're going to want to like kind of go up kind of flatten it and then once that's done you're going to want to bring the end of the thing up to the first hole that you did and then you're gonna want to put your thing through you're gonna want to do a slip stitch which is basically taking the long strand of yarn and putting it right over here and then you're going to want to see, you'll have three loops on your needle. You're going to want to take this one right here and bring it over the needle. And then you're going to want to take this one, bring that one over the needle. And it's as simple as that. After you got your slip stitch, you're going to chain one. So just like how you did in the beginning of the video, you're just going to go over and then over and then you'll have one chain take this one put your needle through here and then this and voila oops voila <laughs> okay we're going to do that all the way around until we reach the little tail thing right where we started from and I'll get back to you right when I'm done with this. So feel free to rewind this video if you need to look back on what we did or anything like that. And don't worry if you mess up. It's always going to happen. The first time I did this, I messed up so many times. So do not blame yourself. It's hard, even for, even for beginners. But yeah, I'll be right back. Y'all, can we talk about my setup for a second? It's literally being held up by candles and canvases. Alright, so now you're back at where you started. You're going to do the last one just like how you would do with the rest of them. Except now you have the tail and then you have your stitch, your final one. So you're just gonna see two loops right here. And these are all one stitch, because like you see how these are like that all the way around. 
So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your hook, go through both of them. So not just one, but two. So now you'll have three of those. And then you're going to want to take your yarn, the big one, loop it around. Oops. Oh my gosh, the tail. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to want to pull two of them over, leaving you with two. By two of them, I mean like pull the one that was already attached to this thing. And then you're going to do a slip stitch, which is going under. And then you're going to want to chain one. That's kind of your way of like increasing the slip stitch and then the chaining one. Now that you've done that and gotten used to it, you're going to want to do that eight to nine more times. So you're going to have eight to nine rows of just this. And so right now you've got one row. So just, yeah. To be honest, I'm not that sure how long it's been, but I'm halfway done. This is what it looks like. I think this is six. Yep. This is what it looks like six rows in. I'm going to keep going because I like it to be a little bit more thick in size. But I'm going to do a few more rows. Don't forget to chain one every time you do a slip stitch. Here is nine to eight rows of the single stitch. So now we're going to be doing a row of slip stitching. I'm going to skip this one right here. You're going to skip the last one. And you're going to go into this one. So I'm going to be going into here. Wrapping yarn around. Pulling up the middle one. The V type thing. And then pushing this down and you'll left you'll be left with one and then you're gonna want to do it again go in that and then down there Oops, there you go and then keep on doing this throughout your whole row until you've gotten back to where you last increased now that you're done with your slip stitches we're gonna move on to the main part of the leg warmer which is the body portion now you're going to be wanting to do this pattern which is two rows of double crochets and then one row of a single crochet another row of a double crochet and then a last row of a single crochet for a double crochet what you're going to want to do is wrap around your hook and then put it through the loop, wrap around, and pull. And so the, you should have three hooks. So then you're going to wrap around again. And then you're only going to pull over these two. So you're going to go like this. And then you're left with two of them. Right. Can I ignore what just happened? Anyway, so as I was saying, you're gonna wanna take these two and pull it over. Take these two, wrap, wrap it around, take these two, pull it over the yarn, and then that right there is your double crochet. So you're gonna wanna do this for two rows. Okay, so I already kind of finished the row, if that makes sense, but you can see how the um, slip stitch kind of indents it and makes it more like pop out. So then the difference between the cuff and the body is really <laughs> evident. You know what I mean. Anyway, but what you're going to do to finish it is exactly what I did. Have the tail go up and then... For your last stitch do a slip stitch and then um do a one chain and then continue on with your second double crochet and then you can move on to your single crochet again remember to chain one whenever you do this but after 
every double crochet and every single crochet, do a slip stitch, and then do a chain one. Please excuse the poor audio in this. I keep on forgetting to talk into the mic, so the audio is kind of non-consistent throughout the video. Yeah. It's been like around almost two hours now. And yeah. This is why I highly suggest to watch videos or like watch TV while doing it because it's just so relaxing. And plus, you got free clothes. Well, maybe not free free because you have to buy the materials, but like, hey, it's something cute to wear. Halfway done. <laughs> leg warmer and what you're going to want to do once you're done getting the length you want for the body you're going to want to do a slip stitch just one row of it and then you're going to want to do however many rows you did for the cuff just repeat it on top of here you're going to do the same single crochet that you did on the cuff if you need to refer back to the beginning of the video or how to do a cuff again you can do that but here's mainly how it looks I'll show it tried on once I'm finished because I still have a few more rows of the top I have to do. so once you're done with your leg warmer you're gonna undo the hook and then cut it off and then you're just gonna tie it off how you normally would I like to just go like this and then knot it once more and then once that's done all you do is weave the ends into the rest of the leg warmer as you can see i kind of messed up over here but it's okay because in the end when you scrunch it you can barely even notice that kind of thing uh this one's pretty long for a leg warmer but i wanted to make it a little bit longer so i'll show you what it looks like on so this is what the leg warmer looks like on you can scrunch it however you want i'm probably just gonna end up putting it like this and then scrunching it a little so then it gives that little comfy aesthetic look and now you're just gonna want to repeat this pattern one more time and you have your pair of leg warmers as for styling it i usually like to wear my doc martens or my high top vans any high top shoes goes really well with it so converse and anything like that um i don't really have converse but i do have white doc martens along with some different types of high top vans really nice i do suggest putting like a sock underneath it or like a high sock or something just for a little bit more extra warmth because it's gonna be pretty chunky and that means that it's pretty thin. So if you're going to wear it for the winter time and you're, you kind of live in a very colder state with a lot of snow type stuff, I suggest wearing socks underneath. Um, but yeah, it goes good with a lot of things, especially the color white as a leg warmer. It just, I've seen it on so many styles and it's really pretty. Overall, it took me about maybe roughly four hours to finish one of them um i'm gonna finish the other leg warmer tomorrow and yeah that's really it thank you so much for watching